Uh, welcome back to the show. You know, Preston, I don't know about you, but while we are enjoying time outside, maybe at the beach or the pool, it's fun to be able to try some different cocktails, maybe combine some of that Florida grown produce right there. But I always need ideas. I need inspiration on how to do it. And lucky for us, we're going to check in with Big Storm Brewing. And they always have wonderful ideas. LJ's back with us. LJ, you got a lot of strawberries there. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, good morning, guys. How are you? Good morning, LJ. What's going on? So, LJ, let's go ahead and kick things off. You know, normally sure. we talk with you about beer. And That's let's right. be honest, you know your beers. We love chatting with you about that. But you're changing it up a little bit, talking a little vodka. And I'll give you a chance to explain how you are not just beers. And then, of course, talk about why you have so many glorious strawberries in front of you. Sure. Yeah. So uh, about a year ago, we were fortunate enough to start our distillery. And, uh, you know, as we come into summertime, nothing better than uh, a, a cocktail made with our craft vodka. Uh, we're using sugarcane juice that's uh, distilled uh, in, a, in a continuous column uh, for purity and for flavor, still keeping some of that sugar uh, from the sugarcane juice. And so today we're gonna make a cocktail that simple to make at home, simple to serve to friends, using local fruit uh, to the Tampa area, the strawberries in front of you. And LJ, what I love about this uh, cocktail that you're gonna show us is that this is something that you can make, say for example, midweek, and then you want to put it in your refrigerator for a few days mm -hmm. to really kind of infuse all of those flavors together. And then you bring it out on the weekend. So yeah, that's tell us how you put this together. Yeah, absolutely right, Preston. Uh, you know, this is certainly something you could put in the fridge overnight. Uh, but the longer you let this sit in a sealed container, uh, you know, three to five days, the better it's going to get. And, you know, if you're adventurous, you could always just eat those strawberries afterwards as well for a little extra. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, Preston, you want me to just jump into this cocktail today? Yeah, show us. What do you got to do? What do you got to do? all together. Sure thing. So we're making the uh, the Big Storm Summer Heat Wave with strawberries local to Florida. And it's a very, very simple recipe, right? So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take three cups of quartered strawberries, add them into a container with a sealed lid that I'll show you in a second. It looks good. We had three tablespoons, maybe a little more in here because I like it spicy, of some whole uh, black peppercorn. If you want more spice, don't add more, just crack it. Open it up, let it really seep in the liquid, right? So we're gonna dump that in there. Two I love simple syrup. You can make it yourself, you can buy it. I just say go buy it. And my favorite part of this entire recipe, <laughs> So the great thing about this, like Preston said, you know, not only do you make it during the week, put it aside, let it infuse, bring it out with friends, I think if I can make this, anyone can make this, right? Um, but then the flexibility you have with this. Before, so before we're going to put it in the fridge, we're going to stir it up a little bit, get everything nice and infused. Where's my lid? Put it in here, seal it up nice and tight. This goes in the lid. This will be mine for Saturday. Huh. So come out. This is what we took out. We made some uh, a couple days ago. You get a nice pink hue in here, right? And so the cool part about this is you can make two different drinks with this. First, easiest, just as it is. It's sipping vodka, right? Take, pour over, two ounces, add some ice. Don't add ice however you prefer it. I would drink this straight up because it's nice and cold. You want to get really fancy with it, though, Preston? We're going to turn it into a spritzer, right? So we're going to yep. take here. We had a sugar-rimmed glass, right? We're going to fill this bad boy up. We're going to go about two, two and a half ounces of vodka. I know the recipe calls for two. I like mine a little bit stronger. We're going to add some ice into this before we add any other liquids. So have your favorite carbonated beverage. I'm partial ginger ale. It could be Sprite. It could be anything you want. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of water. Uh, pop off and serve, right? And so you get the versatility of two different drinks. Once you cut the alcohol in the spritzer form, it's kind of an all-day sessionable item. Or if, you, or if you really just want that strawberry extracted flavor, you got to hear, right? So this is kind of something for everybody in the hot summer days ahead of us. I love it. Oh, go, go, ahead. Ahead. Oh, go ahead, Natalie. Oh, I no, I just, I just, sorry, I just I love it because you can take Florida, you know, like strawberries or whatever, and I'm sure you can kind of play around with it a little bit to get different flavors and different products. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, we love working with strawberries. Uh, when they're right during the season, we make a beer with uh, strawberries from Starkey Ranch. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're not an easy thing to work with, a strawberry. Uh, but when done right, we think it's an amazing beverage. You know, LJ, one thing that caught my attention for sure when you were talking about the spice, I actually, when we saw the recipe, I thought I misread it when I saw the peppercorn in there, to be quite honest with you. I love that you're able to put that combination in there. And we are going to have this recipe, of course, on our website if people want to indulge. 
LJ, though, you're with us. You know I have to talk a little bit beer. You had some sure. exciting news recently, of course, the new tap room in Ebor. We have to give a little shout out. How's it going? It's going. Look, you know, like anything with construction, you feel like you're not making progress. Uh, it's a lot of planning. It's a lot of triple measuring. It's a lot of permitting. And then when progress starts, it's really quick. And you're not slowing that train down anymore. So, uh, you know, we really are shooting for the end of the year. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but I'll tell you what, the team we have working on that project has been fantastic. Our landlord has been supportive. The city has been supportive. Uh, and we're just excited. We think it's awesome to be right in the heart of Central Ebor, overlooking 7th and 8th Ave with two concepts that will clearly and obviously tie together, but you'll have a unique experience in each. And LJ, this will be the fifth tap room for a big storm in the state of Florida, but how is this one maybe a little bit different in what you're gonna be serving there, or what you're gonna be brewing there, I guess I should well, say. Well, yeah, so I mean, first off, uh, this facility is gonna have more seats than anyone we've ever had. This is gonna be our biggest restaurant forward uh, location. So exciting and scary. Uh, so that's, <laughs> first and foremost, that, that's the difference. Um, we, we, you know, in all of our locations, like we're, we're not a franchise, right? So all of our locations, we try to have, uh, try very hard to have a menu that is uh, conceptually driven by the brand, but also unique in what it's offering to the region. Uh, and same thing goes for the beer. So uh, right now we're planning on that facility brewing a lot of our dark and barrel aged beer, beer that we just don't particularly have the time to brew in Pinellas because our production demands are so strong for wholesale beer. Uh, you know, we think that fits perfect with the aesthetic of that building and of, of the community. I think nothing would make me happier than brewing a great imperial style that's kind of got that tobacco -y flavor mm. put into a rum barrel and let sit for two years, right? So we're just really mm. excited to be part of the community. Uh, well, of course, uh, speaking of letting it sit, you can do that with the cocktail we talked about and the little VOD there from your distillery as well. LJ, thanks for being with us. I got to tell you, I'm cheersing coffee, especially uh, with right. drinks. Cheers, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna make my own. I got my big storm vodka right here. I'll make some for this weekend as well. Or I'm just gonna come and enjoy that heat wave with you that you just made this weekend. <laughs> Yeah. I'm honestly impressed. You'd be a little impressed with my capability. I'm impressed with my capability. <laughs> you sure look like you knew what you were doing. <laughs>